So this question is about yeast. Uh, are you referring, uh, gut yeast, are you referring to candida specifically or are there other species involved? And then some good probiotics have beneficial yeast such as Saccharomyces, please comment. Yeah, so um, I'm, primarily I'm talking about uh, candida albicans, um, so candida. And you make a good point um, that there are beneficial yeast in our intestines, of which uh, Saccharomyces boulardii, or we call it Saccharo B for short, is one of those. In terms of using Saccharo B, there's some key situations I like to supplement it and use it as a probiotic. And one of those is in people that develop um, uh, an overgrowth of a, of a bacteria in their intestines called Clostridium difficile. So Clostridium difficile lives in everybody's intestines, but when you're on prescription antibiotics and even some herbal antibiotics, there's a risk that it grows too much. It releases a toxin, gives people bad diarrhea. Um, C. difficile has got some evidence it can help treat um, that overgrowth. Um, and our Sacro B has evidence it can treat C. difficile overgrowth, but also it's very useful as a preventive. So if I've got somebody that mm -hmm. has... Um, had C. diff, I'm wanting to put them on prescription or herbal antibiotics. I'm often, in addition to whether I do a core biotic or a spore forming probiotic or one of those acromantia probiotics, I'm still going to want to put them on Sacro B as part of a preventive strategy to help not get um, C. difficile infection. Great. Thank you.